Hello everyone, we are back with another RimPy tutorial. Um, this time I'm going to cover one of the newer features to RimPy. I'm not sure exactly when it was added, but it's one of the more recent updates, I think since version um, 8. And this is how to make uh, comic book style uh, text bubbles or speech bubbles in your game, which is a really cool effect. I think I'm going to use this in an upcoming game. I've been wanting to do something with a comic book style for a long time. Um, like most of my placeholder art you notice has been in kind of a comic book style. So I'd really, really looking forward to uh, kind of exploring that avenue. But without further ado, let's get into the, uh, let's get into the code. So um, I have the uh, default uh, project in here. I've only made a couple of minor changes to it. I've add, added three image statements. So I've got two characters, um, got a background, and I've got one character defined. And that's pretty much it. Like I've changed the name, but it's still just got the you know placeholder dialogue in there. So uh, let me show you real quick what this is going to look like when we launch it. So I've got my character, got my custom background, and the uh, placeholder dialogue in there. Everything looks like it usually does. So in order to uh, do the text bubbles, uh, basically we're going to change how we define the character. Uh, so normally we have the character name, and that's what uh, decides the name that displays in the text box. So if you change that to anything, you'll you'll know which character is speaking. Um, and then I've got my uh, image tag there as well. The image tag we're going to leave um, alone. Uh, the name I'm going to change. Now the name here is kind of redundant because since we're going to use the text bubbles, you're going to be able to see visually who's speaking. So we don't even really need a name. So I'm going to change that to... Uh, the keyword none. So there is basically no character name. And there's only one other thing that you have to do uh, in the code. Um, we're going to add an optional parameter here called kind. And we're going to say kind equals bubble. And that's the kind of speech that your um, character is going to have. So we're going to change that to bubble. And just by doing that, that is actually going to do what we need to do to uh, do the text bubble. So let me launch that project again, and we'll see how it looks different. So everything's the same, but now, yeah, we've got that comic book style text bubble there, and it up, uh, changes as we go along. You can see this doesn't fit up here really nicely uh, in one of them. If you have a lot of text, it doesn't, doesn't fit quite right. Thankfully, there are uh, things we can do to mitigate that, and I will show you how to do that now. So I'm going to go back into my scene, and if you hold the shift key and hit the letter B, it'll bring up the speech bubble editor. So you can actually edit it in real time as you go through the game, and it'll update dynamically and remember everything that you did. So my first speech bubble looks uh, pretty good, um, so I'm going to leave that one alone. My second one, again, a little bit, uh, a little bit cramped there. Um, so I've got a couple of options. I could move that a little bit higher, but I'm afraid it might kind of conflict with the top of the screen. So I'm going to do this instead. I'm actually going to make it lower. So over here, you see this thing where it says Luna area. Luna is the name of my character. And then area is the area where the text bubble is. And this is the specific size and coordinates of the speech bubble. But uh, you can set it, um, uh, uh, graphically in the editor, you don't actually have to know all the values, which is really cool. So I'm just going to left click this, and then my cursor turns into this uh, or adds this red box, and then you can just draw a new dialog box. So actually, I'm going to make it like absurdly huge, and you can see that that is a little bit too big. So if it's too big, I did that on purpose, but you can just go back and re edit it. That one is too small. All right, let's see if we can find a happy medium there. There we go, that looks pretty good. Um, so now I have an issue where the speech bubble is way down here and it looks like she's speaking out of her stomach, which is a little bit weird. Um, so I'm gonna click this uh, properties thing and all you have to do is left click this. And right now you can see the properties setting is bottom left. So that means that this uh, little thing down here, um, I don't even know what this is called on the text bubble, but that should be by the person's mouth. That is at the bottom left. So if I click it, it changes to bottom right. I click it again, it changes to thought, which means it completely disappears. And if I click it again, it changes to top left. And I can probably edit that just a little bit better. Let's move that down like one notch. And there we go. And if I click it, it goes on like normal, ends the game. So if I go to start now, it remembers everything I just did. So the first one's got it at the top, and the second one down at the bottom. So pretty cool. Uh, really, really simple to do. And we can actually go one step uh, further than that. Um, so I'm going to define a new character. Let's define a character named Steven. Oops. Uh, non image equals Steven. 
And we're also gonna do him as bubble text, kind equals bubble. I think that's all right. Um, and yeah, that's all we have to do. Um, so let's do, uh, let's change this a little bit. Let's show Luna neutral at left. So we'll put him on opposite ends of the screen. Show Steven neutral at right. And of course I've already got my images and everything dropped into the right places. If you need a refresher on how to do that, or if you don't know how to do the image statements and whatnot, um, be sure to check out one of my older videos. I'll link to that above. That'll show you a little bit more about how to do images and dialogue and things. And I'm going to change her dialogue just a little bit. She's going to say, uh, my name is Luna. And we'll change this one to Steven's text. And he will say, my name is Steven. And we'll go back to Luna. And she'll say, Welcome to the game. There we go. All right, that all should work. So um, let's go back out to the game. Actually, let's could just do Shift R to reload, but I'm just going to restart it completely. Did I save? Yes. All right. So let's start now. And uh, so now my text bubble is still in the same place that it was before, uh, which is not going to work anymore because my character is no longer in the center of the screen. And then Stevens is appearing in the same place. Actually, they're uh, appearing in the default location, I think. Um, so let's do this. Let's go back to start. And just like we did before, we're just going to do Shift B. And we're going to make Luna's right here by her mouth. Actually, that's a little bit low. There we go. And then let's go to Steven and let's put his right up by his mouth. And his we're going to change to bottom right. And let's put that one notch higher as well. Clean up a little bit. Uh, let's put that a little bit more to the left. That's kind of covering his face a little. There we go. That's pretty good. There we go. And that welcome to the game is in a uh, pretty good place. Uh, yeah, there you go. So that's how you can do it with two characters. But wait, there's more. Uh, there's one more thing that we can do. So let's say that we wanted the text bubbles to stay on the screen. So right now, the way I do it, whenever the next person speaks, it disappears. Um, but you might want it to stay on the screen until it changes for some reason. Uh, so let's try that. We're going to add one more optional argument at the end. And we're going to call this retain. So we're going to say, oops, comma, retain equals and it's false by default so we're going to change that to true there we go and so now when i go into there check out what happens um oops let me sorry shift r to reload um let me go back out there we go my name is luna and my name is steven welcome to the game and that one uh kind of appears in the wrong spot so uh, something we can do about that Let's change that one back to here. Actually, let's put this down here just for something a little bit different. A little bit lower. There we go. So when we run it now, they don't, uh, oops, doing script. So they shouldn't conflict with one another. But it still looks a little bit weird with her having two uh, text bubbles coming up there. Um, so we can actually do this. Let's go to. Uh, when we get to this point, let's do shift B again. And um, let's do clear retained bubbles. Actually, I think I should do that uh, one step before this one. That might work, but let me see. Yeah. Shift B, clear retained bubbles. There we go. And then she says, welcome to the game. Well, let's see how that works. My name is Luna. That will have cleared it in the wrong spot. I should have gone one more, but you kind of get the picture as to how that works. So again, yeah, so uh, kind of a quick video. That's really about all I wanted to uh, all I wanted to get through with this one, it's just how to do those speech bubbles to make a comic book style game. Um, you could do a blend of them by just having certain characters that use the kind bubble and certain ones that don't. I don't really know why you'd want to do that, but you can mix and match if you want to. But uh, again, I'm really excited to try a full game that kind of uses that uh, relatively new feature in RenPy. 
Um, at any rate, thank you for watching. As always, don't forget to like and subscribe. That really uh, helps me out in the algorithm. And besides, you'll never miss, miss one of my new videos. It's been a little bit while, a little while since I've uh, made any new content, but I hope, hope to have more on the way very, very soon. If there's anything in particular that you'd like to see, feel free to leave me a comment and I will um, see what I can do. And of course, uh, don't forget to send me links to your projects. Put those in the comments as well. And I'd like to see uh, how you use some of these tricks in your own projects. Um, so that has been uh, comic, book, comic book style uh, speech bubbles. Uh, and I will see you all in the next one. Thank you and goodbye.